Hello everyone, welcome to the continuation of our Travers Computation solution that um, we've started. I believe you must have seen the other videos on this um, playlist or on this series that we are trying to get a solution to a field data. This is the field data we acquired and then we are trying to solve it and then um, that's what we've been doing. So I would encourage you again because you know how important it is for you not to miss out on anything. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification and why won't you just invite your friend to come and join you and have the excellent solution on surveying. Thank you very much as you do that. So on our last video, we told you that if you want to arrange your controls on your back computation, you will have to do it in a particular method, which is very easy for you. And we actually explained why it is easy. Now to continue on this video, we want to do what? Carry out the back computation of these controls. The coordinates of these controls. We want to carry out the back computation of the coordinates of what of these controls. So I'm using this calculator, um, Casio nine FX nine nine one EX plus, and um, this is actually one of the easiest, let's say, calculator to use. I know there are more sophisticated ones, there are less sophisticated ones, but I just don't know why I'm so much in love with this and. It just gives us my it just gives my answer. Let me not say us because we've naturally got into that stage. Whenever I use it in class and I just go pa 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 pa. I hope you get okay. So the solution, like the display of the answer and everything, the interface is very easy to use. I don't know the one you're using, but if in case you want to get a calculator, I'll advise you get this calculator because it will make our work easier. So now we want to carry out what the back computation of the coordinates here. So, first of all, there are different methods. People will come and tell you this minus this, this minus this, and stuff like that. But we already have the coordinates written here. We know what they mean from our previous video. So, there is no need for us to go back and forth and say imaginary values. The values are already here. So now, let's start. We want to do what? Carry out the back computation of this coordinate value here. So, first of all, we are going to start if we have one, two, three. If we have one, two, three, I understand that we have 23, 21, and 22, but I'm just giving it um, a chronological um, numeration like one, two, three, because I would love to use that to explain my point. How do we carry out the back computation? For convenience, let me just write it out. This is not part of our IDO. This just is to explain something. So to do this, we we'll say 2 minus 1, 3 minus 2, 4 minus 3, 5 minus 4, 6 minus 5, and so on and so forth. Is it very hard? No, it's not hard. It's very simple. Like, that's the simplest method you can get anywhere. What did I say? 2 minus 1, 3 minus 2, 4 minus 3, 5 minus 4, 6 minus 5, and so on. So, how do we put that into action? Let's start with our northern coordinates. So, if we say we are doing 2 minus 1, it means we have 8, 6, 0, 0, 7, 1, point six four four minus eight six zero two seven two point what nine two seven what do we have we have minus two oh one point two eight three these are our delta nothing so we are going to write it here minus two o one point two eight three the next thing we are going to do is what three minus two as i told us earlier we are going to do what three minus two for the northern value so our three is what from the values we have we have eight six zero one eight one point 
0.523 minus 860071.644. So what do we have? We have 109.879. We have 109.879. Can't you see that it's very easy? Should just be giving a round of applause for me okay now let's go back to our esteem values we still um apply the same method two minus one so our two year is what five nine 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 three five point one eight five minus five nine 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 eight three point what six nine eight so we have minus forty eight point five one three we have minus forty eight point what five one three the next we are going to do three minus two we have six zero 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 point one six zero minus what five nine 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 three five point one eight five so what do we have we have um sixty four point nine seven five isn't it very easy like isn't it very easy so these are the differences between the coordinates yeah the next thing we are going to determine now will be what the distance between them and the bearing between them so how do we go about it this will lead me to explain just something very brief now there are different ways coordinates are represented you can have your coordinates represented in rectangular or polar now when we say rectangular we are talking about northern eastern and by extension we can say height and when we say polar we are talking about a distance a bearing there are different school of thoughts i think in photogrammetry and in geodesy where these things are well explained where you have different methods you have your head like this and you know there are, maybe when we get to that we'll be able to explain it the distance from here to here is an arc distance and the bearing between them but that's what we want to do here the most important thing i want you to understand is that we have rectangular representation we have the polar representation of coordinates now if you look at our field book you will find out that, that our computation sheet rather you will find out that, that we have a column for what our horizontal distance and we have a column for our corrected bearing just like we add for our partial coordinates of delta northern and delta eastern so to get our delta to get our distance and bearing rather pardon me to get our distance and our bearing we are going to use a function on this calculator called pole. We are going to use a function on this calculator called pole. Now, that pole simply means polar. And then from the explanation I gave earlier, polar just means distance and bearing. A representation of coordinates that gives you that the values or the values here are, represent, are represented in what? In distance and bearing. So we are going to get the distance and bearing between this is this is a um, sorry for that this is kg 23 so between kg 23 and what kg 21 so that's what we want to do we need our red pen i almost forgot that i was on my what do you call it on my back computation that i'm dealing with what with them um, coordinates or controls i don't you know Think so many things so now let's get started so i said we are going to use the pole function on this calculator so how do we get the pole function you press shift and you press the plus by the time you do that you see the pole 
on the screen asking you to impute the values that's very simple i don't know the calculator you're using but basically i know for this casio series this is just how you get it what you do is you press shift and you press the what the plus sign your pole comes out so what do you do next the next thing you are going to do the next value you are going to impute after this is what delta nothing comma delta easting what did i say perhaps i should just write it down here to get distance and bearing on my casio calculator you press pull when you press pull you impute your delta nothing comma your delta easting and your results will come out in what in distance and in bearing i hope that's clear so now let's go back to our calculator so we have our calculator the pole function is there for this line our delta nothing is what minus 201.283 and then we need the comma the comma here is the second function so we still press shift close bracket the comma comes out shift this close bracket the comma comes out and we write the what the easting partial coordinate which is minus 48.513 so the distance between the two points is what 207.047 to three decimal place now how do we get our bearing the bearing that was given to us here was written in decimal and in presenting our work we present our works in what in our work in what in degree minute and second so how do we change these bearing that was given to us in decimal to degree minute and second what we do is we say alpha y alpha what y so if you say alpha sd rather sorry the sd the y is a second function on sd so when you press alpha sd the y comes out by the time you press equal to you will see the value written here still in decimal now let's do it the value is still written in decimal but you know we don't need the value in decimal we need the value in what in degree minute and second so by the time you press the alpha y which is from this our first screen by the time you press alpha y put degree to it and then you press equal to you find out that the answer would be what will be displayed in degree minute and second this is very very simple like it is very simple recall that we don't have negative angles if you have any negative angle you add 360 to it there is no um, big deal about that when you are computing using this program or whatever tool on this calculator and you have a negative angle because there is another method conventional method that you will have to use a um, tan inverse of delta easting over delta nothing where you will have to know your quadrants and what to add and what to subtract that's a bit complicated and in solving solution we don't go to some things that are complicated we just give you the solution that you need the solution that will make you the best that's what we give to you so we are not going to bother ourselves much about that we are going to use our casio calculator or any other calculator that can have the or that has this function on it to carry out our work and we are good to go so when you use this pole function and you have a bearing in negative the only thing you are going to do is just say plus what 360 degrees so that negative value you have when you add 360 to it you have its equivalent that you are going to use in your computation we should not be what 193 degrees 33 minutes 3.3 seconds the next thing we are going to do is we want to determine the distance and bearing between kg 21 and what and then um, kg 22 
so the same method we've used earlier is the same method we are going to use um, we are still going to use the pole function our delta nothing comma our what our delta is thing. so we press shift and plus the pole function comes out then what's our delta nothing our delta nothing here is 109.879 so we have 109.879 comma which is shift close bracket then our delta is thing is what 64.975 which is what 64.975 what do we have we have a distance of 127.652 so the distance between them is what 127.652 and recall what i told you about displaying your bearing in degree minute and second you see alpha y then you press degree so the bearing between the two points is 30 degrees 35 minutes 49.9 seconds so we have um 30 degrees 35 minutes 49.9 seconds this was excellent like it is what simply excellent so far so good we've been able to arrange our controls accordingly in a way that it will be convenient for us at any point in time we've been able to carry out the back computation of these controls the coordinates of these controls now on our subsequent video we are going to do what our next video to be precise we are going to explain what back bearing is and how we are going to use it to carry out our forward computation we are going to explain what what back bearing is and how we are going to use it to carry out what our forward computation so i would like to have you guys on that video thanks for watching i'm always there to answer your question if you have any issue maybe some things are not clear to you you can just leave your comment on the section in the comment section and definitely we'll get back to you as soon as possible so do not forget to what to, to subscribe to our channel like this video invite your friends to come and subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss an inch like even a millimeter or you don't miss anything that's just it so thank you very much for watching see you in the next video